The Holocaust Industry, Reflections on the Exploitation of Jewish Suffering, by Norman G. Finkelstein is a provocative and controversial work that delves into the commercialization and political manipulation of the Holocaust. Finkelstein, the son of Holocaust survivors, takes a critical stance on how the memory of the Holocaust has been used for financial gain and political purposes. In this literary analysis, we will explore the key themes, arguments, and implications of Finkelstein's book. Finkelstein begins by examining the Holocaust as a historical event and as a symbol of unprecedented suffering. He argues that the Holocaust has been commodified and turned into an industry, primarily in the United States. This Holocaust industry includes Holocaust memorials, museums, educational programs, and literature, all of which generate substantial revenue. Finkelstein contends that some individuals and organizations have exploited the memory of the Holocaust to advance their own interests and profit from it. One of Finkelstein's central arguments is that the Holocaust industry has allowed certain individuals and groups to silence criticism and deflect attention away from their actions. He claims that whenever Israel faces international criticism, its supporters often invoke the Holocaust to garner sympathy and deflect attention from Israeli policies, particularly in relation to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Finkelstein argues that this manipulation of the Holocaust's memory is not only morally questionable but also counterproductive to achieving a just resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Moreover, Finkelstein criticizes the use of Holocaust victimhood to extract reparations and compensation. He points to the billions of dollars that have been paid to Holocaust survivors and their descendants, arguing that much of this money has ended up in the hands of lawyers, politicians, and Jewish organizations. Finkelstein suggests that this financial exploitation trivializes the suffering of Holocaust survivors and distracts from the broader issue of global reparations and justice. Another significant aspect of Finkelstein's analysis is his critique of certain prominent figures in the Holocaust industry, such as Elie Wiesel and Steven Spielberg. He accuses them of profiting from the Holocaust through lucrative book deals, film adaptations, and speaking engagements. Finkelstein argues that these individuals have commodified the Holocaust for personal gain, which undermines the integrity of Holocaust remembrance. Finkelstein also discusses the role of political lobbying by pro-Israel groups in the United States. He asserts that these groups used the Holocaust as a powerful tool to secure financial and political support for Israel, thereby stifling debate on U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East. This, he contends, has serious consequences for both American democracy and the prospects for peace in the region. In addition to his critique of the Holocaust industry, Finkelstein addresses the issue of Holocaust denial. He vehemently opposes Holocaust denial but argues that the misuse of the Holocaust by certain groups and individuals has, in part, contributed to the rise of denialism. By focusing on the manipulation of Holocaust memory, Finkelstein aims to encourage a more honest and responsible approach to Holocaust education and remembrance. Finkelstein's book raises important questions about the ethical boundaries of Holocaust remembrance, the exploitation of suffering for financial gain, and the impact of such exploitation on politics and international relations. While some have accused Finkelstein of being controversial and even offensive in his views, he undeniably challenges readers to critically examine the ways in which the Holocaust has been used and misused in contemporary society. In conclusion, The Holocaust Industry, Reflections on the Exploitation of Jewish Suffering, by Norman G. Finkelstein is a thought-provoking critique of the commercialization and politicization of the Holocaust. Finkelstein's arguments, while controversial, compel readers to consider the moral and political implications of profiting from such a profound tragedy.
Whether one agrees or disagrees with his perspective, Finkelstein's book serves as an important contribution to the ongoing discourse on Holocaust remembrance and its broader societal impact.